Hello, I'm Walter Miller. Welcome to the Museum of Automobile History. The museum includes my lifelong collection of over 10,000 items from the 19th century to the present relating to the history of automobiles, trucks, and motorcycles. Over the past 30 years, I have purchased items from literally thousands of individuals in over 50 countries. The result is the largest private collection of automobilia in the world. This poster is from 1895 and it's very important historically because it depicts the first automobile race in history as well as the first automobile show in history. Uh, the poster shows the Paris to Bordeaux race uh, with a bunch of, of automobiles leaving the Paris Exposition and they ended up in Bordeaux which was quite a ways away and only a few of the cars finish the race. Uh, it also shows the Paris Exposition, which was uh, the first automobile show in history. I'm riding on a rainbow, and I'm sitting on a cloud. Our fathers and our mothers were just as gay as me. One good enough for father. In 1996, the museum was open to the public, and since then, we have had thousands of guests from around the world enjoy the collection while they were learning about the history of the automobile. I believe the museum is the first institution to trace the social effects of the century's favorite machine, the automobile. This Haywood Wakefield wicker baby carriage was made in 1909 and is complete with brass headlights. The elderly gentleman that this belonged to was actually wheeled around the Indianapolis 500 track as a youngster at the beginning of the race. Battery 
in every county. And you love me when my pump is on the floor. When I haven't got a set and my connecting rod is bent. Will you love me when my jalopy is a wreck? There's a mean machine that's in our town Cat Echoes is gonna shut you down Your rod ain't nothing but a hopped up run Everything's on it is almost chrome This machine These large three-dimensional valentines are from the first decade of the 20th century when the public was becoming fascinated with the new automobile. Automobiles themselves don't mirror the people who use them as vividly as the items left behind by those people. This 1953 receipt, signed by then Senator John F. Kennedy, when he purchased 13 gallons of Esso gasoline near his home in Massachusetts. This is part of a new exhibit entitled Presidents in Their Cars, which includes autographs of many of our 20th century presidents with their automobiles. These memos were sent in 1953. Henry Ford II was asking the board members to approve the name Thunderbird, which interestingly enough was not their first choice. This two-seater sports car, which came out in mid-1954, was directly competing with the new Chevrolet Corvette, which came out in 1953. Elsewhere in the museum, there are several renderings that were done in 1952, and these are the very first illustrations ever done of the new Thunderbird, which came out in mid-1954. This rendering was done by the well-known designer Virgil Exner in 1952 when he was at Studebaker. In 1954, he became the chief designer at Chrysler and was responsible, among other things, for their 1950s forward look. Yes, God. 
driving. I thought it was a plane by the way. It was a hundred. It's turning along at a terrible pace, and I knew right then it was at the end of the race. When it pulled by, I turned the other way, but the guy in the Mercury had nothing to say. For passing us up, as we went our way, was a kid in a hot up model A. Some of the hundreds of comments we have received in the museum's guest book include, This is the most incredible collection I have ever seen. Thanks for the display. Thank you for sharing all this with the world. Without peer, utterly amazing collection. Sensory overload. Phenomenal diversity. Excellent presentation. World-class museum. Fantastic. Beyond belief. Could spend months here. One of the most creative exhibits we have ever seen. An exhilarating visual delight that titillated my memory bank. Almost too much to absorb. Most extensive collection I have ever seen. What a wonderful thing you have done to save and preserve history. Intimidating at first, but incredible at last. Superb collection, probably unique in the world. I loved it. I wish I had two or three days to go through and really see it all. This spectacular illustration was done in 1939 by Art Ross, a famous Cadillac body designer. It is for the 1941 LaSalle that was never produced.
The museum reflects the monumental influence of the car as well as an unbridled enthusiasm for the automobile. It is a memorable automobile trip and a dazzling display of the world on wheels for everyone of all ages.